Hello guys, welcome back to another episode with more Olympus. I've decided to blow this thing up. Why not? Tore down the old one, the library. Just not enough room. So yeah, I think we will just use this spot here. So I've set up a little demolition test. We've got our plunger. Got a redstone wire hooked up to hopefully some TNT. And I have no idea how well this is going to go, but let's just give it a shot. Alright guys, let's see how this goes. Not bad, not bad. Uh, it's definitely no more house. Might have upset the neighbor. This might need to, you know, fill in some dirt. A little bit, here and there. Might get fined for damaging city property. Uh, might have been a little bigger than we needed, but we got rid of oh, almost all the house. Maybe a couple more pieces of TNT was needed for that. Oh well. A good job done. Good as new, sort of. I tore down the other house too. <laughs> I think we still wouldn't have had enough room. Well, maybe we would have, but it would have been tight to the edge there. So yeah, I freed up some more room. I think we'll have to get rid of that farm or part of it. Uh, there's no more light here, so I had destroyed a couple lamps or one lamp for sure that used to be right here. And he's no longer wired up properly. So I'll just do this for now. Till we figure out what we want to do. I am now also running 1.43. This is the pre-release. It should be coming out next Wednesday if all things are good to go. And they did a lot of bug fixes in this one. I, haven't, I think this works. Yeah. Wow. So that's something new that you can now do. I don't think you can do it to lower slabs. I think just the upper ones, but maybe you can. Let's give it a go. Oh, well, you can. Could you do this before? I don't know. It was listed, so maybe you could do it one way, but you couldn't do it the other way prior. I didn't even know you could do it, if you could. But either way, it's fixed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a lot of bug fixes. Uh, I don't think I could go over any of them <laughs> or not many of them there's one that I'm particularly fond of uh, which will involve mm, let's go to a test world and I will demonstrate all right one of the changes they made is to these guys you know how skeletons are incredibly cheaty now, as soon as you walk around a corner, they shoot you. Cheaty skeleton. So yeah, this is 1.42. Now, I'll just kill him. <laughs> now, let's switch over to 1.43. Alright. Now we are back... Now we are in 1.43. I'll just set up the test again, which just basically involves throwing a skeleton in there. I'm in creative mode, so he doesn't acknowledge me. And now if we go into survival, now when we go around the corner, he doesn't shoot us automatically. He has to ready his bow. Now I think he will. Oh, no, it still didn't seem instant. Oh, there we go. So once he fires his first shot, 
he's pretty much ready. He'll be ready all the time to fire again. Yeah. But when they first see you, like if you just walk around the corner and see them, then they won't be able to get those cheaty shots off. <laughs> so that is cool. Unfortunately, along with all the bug fixes, there are bugs introduced. So you can't swim up a stream of water. I don't know if it's just when it's in a hole. But yeah, I will end up drowning here. Let's test it out. I know it's... Um, yeah, let's do this here. And where is that? Right here. Let's see if we can... Oop. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Let's let the water go away. Yeah, so I saw this on the Reddit. I just did a test earlier to see if it was true. Oh, that water took a while to go away. All right, let's go back to survival. Now is it just... Okay, so you can swim up water, but maybe just not when it's in a hole. What if we're one deep? Oh yeah, even if we're one deep. <laughs> Can't get out. Oops. But you can fly out in creative, of course. Um, what else have they done? A lot of little sound, some things with the sound, some things with hitboxes. Fixed like beds and stuff, I guess, breaking. In creative mode, you no longer get the resource, so they're trying to get rid of all the being able to get items accumulating in re in creative mode. And some hitboxes, like chests, I guess, are now fixed. But let's go back to... Am I still in 1.43? Yeah, so I'll bring you back in my survival world. All right. Yeah, I think they changed hitboxes on the chests. So before, like, you couldn't uh, sneak around them, though, even though they're smaller than a block. I don't see the hitbox anymore. And I can hit that block behind it and break it. So that's, yeah. They have indeed changed that. What was that, a stair? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was that. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. There's a new disc. Music disc, that is. Fixed slimes, hitboxes being wrong. Fixed maps glitching out. <laughs> no, 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 you didn't. But yeah, I think that was mentioned, but I don't see that as being fixed. Arrows will stick to players. Um, I don't know if we can actually do that. I don't know if I can hit myself with an arrow. Alright, let's just go straight up. I don't think it works with mobs, just with players. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, let's do it a different way. Let's see if we can actually get this to happen in single player. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Got an arrow in the face. Or the throat. I'm not quite sure where that is. In my trapezius. That could be piercing my lung, actually, based on the angle. Yeah. That's pretty cool for multiplayer, anyway. Be cool if they introduce it for mobs as well. Uh, what else might be worthwhile mentioning? It says fix potatoes and carrots requiring the soil they grow on to be tilled. I don't. I would have thought that was. I don't really understand that. 
you don't have to till the dirt to plant carrots? That seems wrong. Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> you would think you'd have to till the soil to plant your... Uh-oh. Crash! Well, the game just crashed. I'm not sure why. I didn't really... It said something about a particle. I did back up this world before I updated, so which I always do. So I can always revert back if there is something significantly wrong. Uh, let me get rid of all this stuff for repairing everything out there. As for today and what we will work on, we may actually leave the library for right now. I was going to work on it, and I, I'm going to probably make this a pretty short episode. I don't have too much time to record. So let me just get rid of some things, and we can get started. Maybe we'll take a look at some of the other changes that um, have occurred. Actually, they seem to have fixed, um, so they say. Where's my dog? There's a dog here. Where are you, Doug? I hear you. Where is he? In the roof? <laughs> hmm. And we crashed again. Is he like in the wall? Did he get pushed in the wall? It said something about a particle again. <laughs> I don't know. I looked at the crash report, but I can't read that. Anyway, I think there's another dog in here, maybe. As I was saying, they've done something with portals. Now, oh, where are you, dog? Maybe you're downstairs. I swear there was a dog here. Are they all invisible? Yeah, usually when you push something through a portal, like a, an entity, not an entity, a mob, and you go through the portal, you would just push them right back through. So they have apparently fixed that. I don't know if I can try it out, though, without a dog. We do have our cryo dog, but I'd kind of like to leave him where he is. Seriously, there should be a dog here. And crash again. Whatever it's something to do with the golems, since it seems to happen when I'm over there. Alright, is there a dog in this roof? No. Can we see the dog from up here? Oh, uh, no. Hmm. So, Vern, are you causing the crashes? Where is Vern? Vern! Since you failed at protecting the villagers. There's Vern. Hey, guy. He's bored. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Oh, out of pearls. Uh, I could touch base on. Whoop. Last video, we talked about the end farm. Since I can't find my dog, I'll just change topics. Yeah, last episode, we talked about the end farm, where we could possibly build it, those kind of things. Uh, some people said the end. Some people said that I should hook it up to the collection point. That way there'd just be iron sitting there when we went there. So I think I've decided what I will do. And it's going to be both. <laughs> I think we'll try to make one in the end for the fun of it. And we'll also build one somewhere around here so that we can filter it into the collection point. I also want to redo that ice stream a bit. 
I want to separate items. So, like sugar mm. cane, the mob drops, the eggs. I'm going to have a bunch of streams that head out to that unloaded chunk instead of just the one. They'll be kind of right next to each other, but maybe like a block apart. So it'd be like ice, a block, ice. So we'd have the stream set up like that. And then when we get to the pickup location, there'd be different pickup stations for the different items. So it'd be a lot easier to sort through. Like you could just basically stand at the sugar cane, pick up the sugar cane, dump off all the sugar cane, do the same thing for the eggs. And then we'd have one also for the iron eventually. And then the mob drops would still be kind of a mess because I, yeah, I haven't been able to sort those out. But yeah, I think that would be good. In terms of where to build it, some people uh, kind of said I should put it in the village somewhere, but I don't think I can. Like some people said the cathedral. Some people, I think, mentioned over there, maybe, that I could quarantine off part of my village, but I don't think it'll work. i got to check how far apart they have to be. I think it is 60 blocks between... At least for like the Doc M style, I think it's 60 blocks between the outer walls of the mob farm. And someone did mention that you don't have to do them stacked on top of each other, which is true. So it doesn't have to be this giant tower thing. So that is a good point as well. So in terms of where to put it then, I would might put it either... I don't think I'll go there's the swamp. Although we could... I don't want to head closer to the unloaded chunk. Not by much, anyway. And crash. I think it might be him. I don't know. Is it when you're jumping around? <laughs> okay, maybe it is. Let's just get away from him. At least far enough that the particles won't register or try to be created, I guess. Uh, like I said, I do have a backup. Unfortunately, the backup is before I filled in all this. <laughs> and this took a lot of dirt. Most of that TNT just made a giant crater in the, in the ground. So I kind of don't want to revert back to the backup. I should probably get rid of this too. Do I have... No. We'll worry about that when we do the library. Uh so as I was saying, maybe we'll put it over here somewhere. Kind of on this side of the city, towards the jungle a bit. Uh, let's get out of this village. Yeah, maybe we can put it over here somewhere. Far enough away, so whatever the distance is, it's, eh, if it is 60 blocks, then we can just go 60 blocks from the outside of this wall and put it somewhere over here. Not sure exactly where. And then we can run ice streams underneath and hook it all up. And send that over to the unloaded chunk, which is that away. So that'll work. And then we'll try to build one in the end as well. And I will probably put it right at the end farm. But far enough away so the enemy can't teleport to it. Which I think is 32 blocks or something like that. I'll have to double check what that is. So we might just have a little stopping point along the track where the iron collection point will be and we can just collect the iron there. Or I could have it sent to the ender farm. So if we're 32 blocks back towards the main island, we could have a water stream or something that would be sending the iron to us. And I'll probably just yeah kill the iron golems automatically. Although we could have them collect and then have a kill mechanism that you'd actively, actively, uh, activate. <laughs> actively activate. Like a button. Of some kind. Yeah. So, oh, there's a zombie. Did you spawn under that tree? Is that why you guys were killing off everybody? I don't want to get close. I do want to know where this dog is. Where are you, dog? 
Seriously, are pets invisible? Here, boy. Where are you? Hmm. It's right here. I hear you. Did you fall down the well again? No, wait. That's the little boy. Hmm. Oh, I did break that. I swear, he is right here. Come here, dog. <laughs> Sorry, I really want to figure out where he is. I keep waiting for him to bark. Oh, apparently I filled that with dirt. Interesting. I wonder if I load up in 1.42 if he'll be here. Maybe we'll give that a go. Nope. <laughs> Still not here. I don't understand. I got a plan. I don't see him. Where are you, dog? Why are you invisible? This is a bad angle. All right. Let's go look for Cryo Dog. There's normally a dog here, too, I think. Bark. All right. Fine. Don't. Now I'm wondering if I made my... made the dog invisible already by going 1.43 and now they're invisible forever? Nope! This dog's not invisible. Hey boy! How's it going? You chilly? All right, all right, so dog is not invisible, or shouldn't be. They're just missing. Maybe glitched into a block somewhere? I don't know. Need a potion of visibility. Haha. -ha. We could get potion of weakness or something. And throw it around and see if we can see his swirls. So I really don't know where else he could be. We'd look down there. He's not in the basement. I checked there. And it really sounds like he should be right here. It really does. Ah! I guess I'm down here now. Where are you, pooch?
<laughs> no, no, he's just nowhere. Nowhere to be found. I might have to load up my backup and see if he was indeed here and visible. Yeah, you can keep barking, but I'm never going to find you. Well, maybe we'll try a potion effect then. See if that does it. See what I got. I don't know if I have any weakness. Could do a regen. Kind of a waste. How about strength? Let's get some strength. We'll turn him into splash. Uh, I need gunpowder. Whoops. Spam those all over the place. We will find you, Pooch. Seriously, what happened to the one that was here? I don't know. All right, we got our strength. Oh, it's night time. Find the loudest spot. No. Nothing. Don't know. Don't know. Sounds like he's right there. Let's go back on the roof. Not that he should be able to get on the roof. But who knows? No, he's definitely not on the roof. And... Not in the ground. Well, maybe I'll play around and see if I can figure out where he is instead of wasting more of your time. All right, I'll bring you guys back. There he is. Was he visible before? He's in the ore packager machine. Oops. Cycled my recording. I was just in there. How did I not see him before? Okay, let's go get him. Mm, yeah, okay. Crazy. Craziness. I don't know how he got down there, but hey, he's standing in a pumpkin. Hey, guy, you're in a piston. Can I get you to come out? Nope. <laughs> uh. Hey. Come on. Yep, don't know how you got in a piston, but well done. Can I get that back in there? Yep, okay. Let's put that back and that back. No idea if that's what it looked like. Not likely. Why isn't that connecting? Oops. Definitely won't connect like that. Oh, that's why, because it was 
It was right. I didn't put a, the other one back right. Okay. Yes, dog. I found you. Come with me to the portal. Maybe <laughs> we could just end it here. Oh, and that doesn't work. Ah! Don't kill my dog. No, oh, they. Oh yeah, Chidi Sands duplication is supposed to be fixed again. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll see. But maybe they did something with pistons again. Come on. You're going into the nether. Now, come here. Dag. Where are you going? There's no pistons over there. Come on. Follow me. Fall Whoa, hey. You just automatically teleport into, like, transparent blocks? Or Wow. Wow. Come here. Get over here. Come. Sit. Good boy. Now, go to the nether. Whoa. Is he even in the nether? Hey, look at that. Success. So that works. There's definitely still glitchy as hell, though. I don't know. Yes. You, now you can stay right there. All right. Well, maybe we'll end it here. Hopefully that wasn't too... I don't know. I don't know we didn't really do much of anything, but... Oh my god, these porters are loud. <sighs> Still, I'm pretty sure there used to be a dog here. Pretty sure. But anyway... What is that? Oh, <laughs> there's a nice painting floating. In the unrendered world. There we go. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye!